Hey guys, my cold is getting better, but um, in my past videos, I do apologize because uh, the time that I filmed, filmed was when my cold was really bad and I didn't know that that was the worst that my cold would be, but basically I was coughing every sentence because every time you, in, like, every time you, like, talk, you're basically letting air into your mouth and then it like tickles your throat and then it makes you cough and I always got the coughing feeling back then. Also, if my voice is a bit lower than usual or a bit weird, it's because I have a scratchy throat but it's going away slowly. Um, yeah. So I wanted to talk about this piece that I finished. I did not film any of the progress because it takes a long while to do but basically this is one of my christian arts which i actually this is one of my christian artwork that i actually um prayed to god about and you know had help from him um but yeah um first off this pose and everything i kind of prayed about it um a lot of the stuff like the shield the sword the helmet thingy and the breastplate and everything are basically supposed to be um what's that passage in the bible the passage in the bible that talks about like the sword and the shield um being of something wait one second let me cover up and get uh i want to go get my book which i found the thing from okay Ow, my knee's cracked. Okay, so, um, let me see if I can find it. You know what? I totally forgot to read a lot of this, so now I'm far behind. That's great, you know? <laughs> Darn it. Now I have to read more. I, I definitely, like, I totally forgot to read this book. Like, I'm supposed to do my devotions, and then I forgot completely but that's okay i'll read it later um is it? okay this part the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness the shoes of readiness the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit um and basically this that those are actually in the bible it's just that i did not like I don't know. I didn't want to search in the Bible in the Bible because I didn't know the quote. So I found it here, luckily. But let's see what day it is. It's February 2nd. How much do I need to read of this book? Well, that's just great. I need to read a lot. But I'll do that later. But basically, yeah. So that's where I got the inspiration from. The lion stuff is basically the lion ears and the lion tail or because, um, I forgot where it was from. Is it from Judaism or something? But, oh, it's from, I believe Jewish people believe in this. Um, there is an angel of God called Ariel, which is my name for those of you who don't know. But I always go by Aries online. But basically, um, basically what happens is they call it the Lion of God. It's supposedly an angel. Some people depict it as an angel with a lion head. But no one's entirely sure. I'm not sure if it's completely in the Bible because there is a woman they mention. Her name is Ariel in Old Testament, but there's not really, and I don't think there's an angel actually called Ariel. Like, it's something that they believe. Like, I believe it's a Jewish thing. But yeah, Christians also believe it, depending on what denomination of Christian you are. <coughs> yeah, so basically there, um, you can see I did like the sword of the spirit. So I did like little spirit 
step there. Um, and, um, I prayed for each and every color. Um, if you're a Christian and maybe you're new to Christianity or you're new to, like, your church or you just got baptized and stuff like that and you're into art, I find, like, this is good practice for, like, listening to God. A lot of the times, like, uh, technically, we're supposed to always ask God for the most part. Like, we're supposed to ask him, like, what should we do? during the day and stuff like that and like what should we choose when it comes to decisions and stuff but you know I find like some people are either confused be or fed up because they can't hear God or they're or they don't understand or they just don't do it because they don't they find that to be like a hassle I guess but basically um, I find that this is a good practice for that because, you know, you ask God, like, hey, what do, what should I draw? You pray about it. I usually listen to Christian music when I do this, so that way I can feel the Holy Spirit, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, so, to me, it's very important. Like, it's something that I practice sometimes, but I'm trying to get into the habit of practicing it a bit more but basically this will help you like practice to listen to God and stuff like that and like you know he'll tell you his choices and it's important like we learn how to listen to him if you're Christian it's like important to listen to him and stuff so yeah so I find like this is good practice so maybe if you're having a hard time and you're like why can't I hear God? Maybe if you're into art and stuff, you can try it out first, see how it goes. Um, he usually chooses a lot of colors, like so. You can see, like, there's a variety of colors in there. And usually when it comes to me coloring, I only choose, like, two colors per outfit. So you can tell that this is not usually what I do so yeah so he usually chooses a lot of colors that are pretty and he actually shows that a lot of them can be beautiful together as one whole and I know like it may seem like oh why is it like so many colors and it might be overwhelming like maybe if you're into art and you're picky and you're like oh there's too many colors and stuff like that but you know it's important that he teaches that like I feel like God teaches me that there are, like, even with, like, more than three colors, it can still turn out to be something that looks really nice, and, like, we don't have to be, like, oh, scared to use, like, a whole bunch of colors because, like, you know, they all look nice together. It's just that we we kind of fear that, like, you know normal society, I guess, normal people, like, human thinking would be, like, you only choose specific amount of colors to go on your outfit, but for him, he's always, like, yay, so, yeah, so, um, this part is blue, but it's hard to see, but there's a lot of white, because in general, I guess, like, uh, for the main parts, it was, like, um, cause, like, I'm sorry, my explaining is weird, um, but for my, um, these parts, I wanted it to be, like, I guess white, because, you know, white is purity, um, if you, like, usually Christians associate white as being purity and from God. So, because the, because this armor is technically given from God, I wanted it to be like, hey, it's white. It's a pure armor. It's not like black or anything, you know, because black represents like darkness and stuff. So, you kind of have to like, so kind of for that, it made sense that it was all white. But, like, you know, the helmet, 
this kind of a helmet, but it's just like this wing thing with this and then the halo thing on the head. But I didn't make it an actual halo that was floating because, you know, you're not angels. People are not angels. Angels are different. Um, and I put a lot of hearts because, you know, at the same time when we fight, I feel like against the enemy, I feel like we have to give our love to people around us, like, fight with love and love. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of hearts. Um, then we have this lion that I drew for myself. <laughs> so I feel like sneezing, my goodness. And then we have the belt of truth, I believe it's what it is. Um, so there's the belt and the shield. And you'll notice, like, I'll have stylized crosses, like, almost everywhere. Because, like, you know, it's a symbol of God, too. So I wanted the crosses there. Um, I also gave myself a half cape thing. So, yeah. And then this is from the belt area. I don't know what. I guess it's attached to the skirt or something. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't have much to explain. Like, it's hard to explain. But yeah, it's very spiritual. And you guys might com be confused. Because usually I don't really talk about this stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and kind of explain it. But it's good. E it's a good exercise for if you want to listen to God and you're Christian. Maybe you're like, I know a lot of people my age tend to be like, frustrated because you know I knew this guy in high school who was like he was a Christian but he considers himself like that he was a Christian but he's not really anymore because what happened is he prayed to God and he did not get an answer and usually I feel like people my age they might be like oh you know God should answer right away or something, and, like, they're not patient. This actually teaches you to be, like, patient and stuff because you slowly go through the drawing, and you're like, okay, what does God want this to be colored? Like, what does God want this to be colored? Like, and sometimes, like, you can see it through visions. You can see it, like, he'll tell you what color specifically or, like, or, like, and... Or, like, he'll speak to you in different ways. Like, a lot of the times when it comes to these, I actually close my eyes in front of the colors, and then I open it, and whichever color I'm more fixated on will be the color that is normally the one that I choose. Um, if I get distracted by another color and get more fixated on that, I might get confused, but I probably will choose the second color that I'm more interested in. But yeah, it kind of works like that. It depends on it depends on who you are though. Like how does God communicate with you? It might be different. It might be confusing at first, but you can get the hang of it. So yeah, so if you want, you can try it. It's fairly simple. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like, please like. And if you want, you can subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button next to the subscription button. So that way you can get notified for whenever I upload new videos. Um, don't forget to check the description box below. It has all my social media accounts. Everything will be posted on my social media. Don't forget to like and follow those pages. So that way you get updates. You get more updates from there than my YouTube actually, so yeah, because I post um, twice per day on my social medias, but for my YouTube, I only post like one video, and usually it's not really associated with what I post, or I may post like things like pictures of these before, so yeah, so that's it for this video, bye!